Alright guys, uh, sorry for the crude periodic table. I did was print the one that's off my website and I needed to somehow color coordinate this for you guys and all that I had was my son's uh, crowns. Uh, you know, he's a, a three year old so sorry but uh, basically I wanted to I'm going to try to teach you the uh, basic locations of the electron configurations in respect to the periodic table. I'm going to show you what they mean. Uh, in order to begin understanding the periodic table, you got to understand, uh, along with the electron configurations, you got to understand that the periodic table is sectioned off into four sections. You have the S block, which is this pink color here. You have the uh, P block, which is this purple color. I know I had a, I had issues with the the purple, but anyway, you have P, and then you have D, and then you have F. Now, like I said, sorry for the you know the bad coloring job. I should have let my three-year-old color, but I didn't. Uh, but anyway, after that, you need to know your uh, basically your principal quantum numbers. Uh, row one would be one. Row two would be two. Row three would be three. Row four would be four. Row five would be five. Row six would be six, and row seven is seven. So basically, everything in this column is by location for electron configurations is. 1s1. This one would be 2s1 because it's the first one in this pink color, okay, or whatever color it looks to you. Uh, this one would be 3s1. This one would be 4s1. This one would be 5s1, 6s1, 7s1. Now this column is the s2 column. Basically, 2s2, 3s2, 4s2, 5s2, 6s2, 7s2. Now, if you're wondering where 1s2 is, it's all the way over here. It's helium. Okay, helium is 1s2. That's its location. Now, this uh, P block starts with a 2, so it would be 2. 3 and 4 would be right here. 4, 5, 6, and 7. So their locations, this would be 2P1, 2P2, 2P3, 2P4, 2P5, 2P6. Then aluminum will be a 3P1, a 3P2, a 3P3, a 3P4, a 3P5, and a 3P6, and so on and so on. That would be 4P1 through 4P6, 5P1 through 5P6, 6P through 6P6, and 7P1 through P6. So basically that's 7P6, this would be 6P2, this would be 5P4, this would be 4P2, and this would be 3P5, and this would be 2P6. Now, as far as this D block goes, it's kind of weird. Notice that this block started out with 1. This block in the purple started out with 2. Well, this block here in D will start out with, guess what? You guessed it, 3. So this would be uh, 3 this would be 4, this would be 5, and this would be 6. Now this right here is the jump for the F block. Okay, that's what they're telling you there. Okay, but the D block itself will start out 3D1, 3D2, 3D3, 3D4, 3D5, 3D6, 3D7, 3D8, 3D9, 3D10. So the D block goes all the way through 10. So this is 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 4, 10. So basically 4, D1 all the way through 4, D10. Okay, this one is 5, D1, 5, D2, 5, D3, 5, D4, 5, D5, 5, D6, 5, D7, 5, D8, 5, D9, and finally 5, D10. And this one would run 6D1 through 6D10. Now, pay attention. This started out with 1. The pink. The purple started out with 2. The green started out with 3. So guess what the blue section is going to start out with for our principal quantum number? Basically an energy level. It's going to start with a 4. 
So this is 4 and this is 5. So this is 4F1, 4F2, 4F3, 4F4, 4F5, 4F6, 4F7, 4F8, 4F9, 4F10, 4F11, 4F12, 4F13, and 4F14. This is 5F1, 5F2, 5F3, 5F4, 5F5, 5F6, 5F7, 5F8, 5F9, 5F10, 5F11, 5F12, 5F13, 5F14, 5F15, 5F16, 5F17, 5F18, 5F19, 5F20, 5F21, 5F14. Okay, so basically you can see this is how this works, okay, as far as location. Now these are the locations. This will help you figure out where to begin your electron configurations. Now trust me, you need to understand location. For example, this chromium is what? Well, it's 3D, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So the location, just the location of it is 3D4. It's kind of like you're playing a battleship game. Okay, and just like zinc here is 3D10. So you're just sitting here picking this row number that I've assigned it, and then picking that color, which is represented by the letter D, and then it's the tenth one in that row. So that's 3D10. Just like this is 4D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4D6. Now, in the next videos, I'm going to show you how to take this chart and actually write your electron configurations. So, anyway, I hope this helped, and I will go over valence electrons and things like that as well, and core electrons. So, alright guys.